Welcome to this new lesson. In this lesson, we will talk about image manipulation with DALI. So what is DALI? DALI is an AI model created by OpenAI that generates unique images from written description by using a combination of natural language understanding and image creation techniques. So you will give a description for an image. You send this description to DALI. DALI will generate an image based on this description, which means that DALI is able to understand the text and convert it to images. Now DALI can do uh, produce use unique images using textual uh, descriptions as prompts so we'll do that uh, in this uh, lesson uh, which means that we will be given DALI a certain description a certain line of text and expecting it to generate an image for us then we will generate different versions of an existing image so we will give it an image and expect him to generate another version of the image and the last is edit an existing existing image by using a new text prompt and a mask. So we will select an image. We will select a mask which specify where we need to edit the image and we get a textual description of the new image. Okay, let's go to Visual Studio Code and start doing that. So first I will create a new controller. We have here the chat completion controller. I will have another controller which I will call image controller. So image controller dot JS. Now in this file, the first thing that we will do is that we will include our config file from the config folder. Here we have the require for our config file. Then I will create a function. This function will generate the image for us. Then I will create a function which will create the image for us. Now as you can see, this function, I store it in a constant call image, that's the return value I will call the await because this is a call to open AI uh, backend and this call takes time so that's why I will use the await uh, keyword of course for a function to use an await keyword it should be declared as a set then we get the open AI object we get this object of course from opening open AI config this is the config object then I will create an image. I will start passing the parameters to this function. Argument to create image is a JSON object. This JSON object has a key of prompt and this key provides the text description. Of course, this prompt is passed to our method. The second key is n, which is the number of images to generate. I'll keep this to one. And by the way, one is the default. Then we have the size. There are three possible values for size. 256 times 256, 512 times 512 or 1024 times 1024 then here i have this console log i am printing image dot data dot data of zero dot url so this is the format of the response object in fact i will print it as well so let's copy print image here I am just printing the URL of the first image. Okay, let's go now and call this method. Of course, to do so, I have to export uh, this uh, function. Okay, then I will go to the playground and I will import the new controller. Then I will comment out chat completion example and I will start a new example for calling the generate image. Okay, so I will make the call to the read line question. I will ask him to enter an image description. Then I will specify here a function that will be called when the image description is specified so this is an anonymous function when the text is read using the read line uh, question function a call will happen to this function it will pass it the prompt and we will call the generate image okay so let's start yes node playground.js now it is asking me to provide an image description i will tell him to create an image for messy playing. So 
soccer. So this is the prompt. This prompt will be passed to our function in the image controller and it will call the open AI create image uh, component. Let's try it. So it takes a little bit of time. So here, as you can see, it has printed the image URL for us. And above that, it had printed for us the entire image object. Now, if you uh, look at this image object, it contains data. And inside data, it contains another data, which is an array. So these, this data and this data. Now, inside this object, we actually have the uh, URL. I will open this image in the web browser and you can see this by specifying a very simple uh, prompt we were able to generate an image of course this image does not exist anywhere there in the internet it actually understood the text and from the text it generated a brand new image for us okay so let's go to the next part the next part i am going to save this image to a file okay so i don't need this uh, console log anymore so i will remove it then i will add i will store in two variables the image url and the output path that i want this image to be uh, written for so let me do that okay so that's the image url which we got from here and here is the output path and i want to save the image with the name image.png and store it in the images directory so i will create this images directory now so i'll come here images So that's our images directory. So after running function that we will call now, the output path will come to this image. Okay, now in order to save the image to a PNG file, I actually asked ChatGPT. I went to ChatGPT and I told him that I want to save an image URL to a local uh, file on my heart. So it gave me this function, save image to uh, PNG. Apparently it needs some uh, extra requirements. So at the top are the include. So you can see we requested to include the Axios and the file system. Of course the Axios makes a call, a get call to the image URL and the response type was requested to be array buffer of course it is a wait because it takes time and a sync has to be specified here because we are using a wait we get back the response now from the response we use the file system to write to a file here is the output path which is this output path that we will be uh, passing shortly to save image to png and here we are creating a buffer from the response data and specifying that the new file we are writing to is a binary file now once we do that the image will be saved to this output path which is this output path and otherwise we will show an error message okay now let's call this function so here we are calling this function we are passing passing the image url which we got back and the output path which will be in the images folder we will just call it image let me save that and try it again i will come here and start this again okay generate an image for Ronaldo in Ronaldo in Barça address. So let's see. Okay, so it printed the URL, but it is still creating the file. Okay, image saved successfully. If we go to images, if we come here you can see that this is Ronaldo in Barca address. So as you can see, it was really easy for us to create the image controller. In the image controller, we created the, G, the generate image, which we uh, 
exported here. Then here we call the create image on open AI, specifying the prompt, the number of images required and the size. Then we save the PNG to a file in the images folder. Okay, now I will convert this to a JSON API because we need to call it from a new web page that we will be creating as well. So if we go to the images controller, first the past parameter will be a request and a response. There will not be the prompt anymore. There will be a request that contains in the body the actual required prompt. So that's the first change I'll do. I changed prompt to request and response. Now then here we will need to parse this value from the body. So yes, as you can see, request.body.prompt. So the body will contain a JSON object. This JSON object has a key which, can, which is called prompt and has the value of the text that we want. I will just comment out this and I will comment out saving to the image. Okay, and then I will do the actual response which as you can see, it is the response status 200 successful JSON object, just one element or one key, which is URL that contains the URL uh, that we are getting back in the image object. So that's, I think, the change in the controller. The other change is straightforward. So if we go to app.js, at the very top, we need to import the new controller. Then we need to add a route for the new endpoint that we are creating. So slash open AI slash intro slash image generate. This will call the generate image, which is this. This will handle the request and the response. It will make the call to the open AI backend and it will return the response for us. Okay, let us try this. So we need to start the app.js. Yes, now we are listening here. Then I will go to Postman and in Postman I have already added the generate image. You can see it is a post. It goes to localhost 4000, open AI intro image generate, which is this open AI intro image generation. It passes a content type of application JSON. And in the body, I have a JSON object that contains the prompt key because here in the image controller, I have expected that the body of the request to contain an prompt key. So that's what I am having here. Let's test it. Okay, so we got back the URL. Let me copy this URL. If I open it in the browser, as you can see, it is showing Messi playing on the beach. Okay, so the last step that we'll do in this uh, lesson is that we will create a new HTML file in the public folder in order uh, to call uh, this REST API. So what I'll do, I'll open the ChatGPT prompts. So if I go to the top, you are an experienced web developer. You need to generate front-end HTML, CSS, vanilla, JavaScript for a JSON object to create an image from a prompt. You need to use a bootstrap. You need to use vanilla JS, so no jQuery or other thing. Include the entire page content inside a dev. Now the background of the page will be light gray of the uh, container uh, or the dev, it will be dark gray. You need to create a header that contains a logo and a title. The page should include a form, this form prompt for a text and submit button. Below the form, there is an image control to display the returned image from the API. When the user submit the uh, form, this URL will be called. 
because this is the URL for our API. And in the body, we specify a key that is prompt. So we tell him that in the body, you need to send a JSON object with a key of a prompt. Then I'll put here a sample request body uh, is as below. During the API, show a spinner and disable the controls. When the API is returned, the JSON object will contain a key of URL. Update the image in that URL. And this is the name of the file that is here. Let me save this. I will copy it all and I will go to chat GPT. Okay, I'll post this. So it is generating the code for me. Okay, let me get this code. And as I said, I wanted to go in a file called image generation so i'll come to visual studio code and here in the public folder i will create image generation dot html okay now i will save this okay let me call it from uh, the browser image generation.html okay so that's our image generator generate a, an image for a river or for a forest okay so it's making the call now So this is the image. Okay, so that seems to have worked. Let's do another call for a football game. Okay, so as you can see, uh, guys, it was really straightforward to generate an image from text using DALI. We implemented the backend code, we converted it to REST API, and we called the REST API from single page application. In next lesson, we will do another feature of DALI, which is creating a variation of an existing image.